Hey guys, I see here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an abandoned cart automation in Go High Level Funnel. So if you have a funnel, uh, and you're trying to sell something through a Go High Level Funnel where you have a page with a two step order form in it where people on the first step enter their details on the second step, enter their cart details and buy something from you. If they pass through the first step and then don't go through the second step, which is enter their cart information and complete the payment, what you can do is you can do an abandoned cart automation just to follow up with them saying that, hey, uh, I saw that you showed interest in buying this product but didn't end up buying it. Is there anything we can help with or offer some kind of 10% discount or something just to you know encourage them to buy? I'm gonna show you how to do that. So that's really simple. First of all, let's go ahead and create a funnel. So I'll just go ahead and create a car test funnel, right? Uh, what we can do is well, let's just go to payments and create a test product. So I'll just do a $97 uh, product. Uh, let's say test. So I'll just do $97 product. And I want to add this to my two-step order form, right? So I'll just create a landing page page. Now I want to add a two step order form to this landing page and then uh, I will add this product. So let's add the product first. So I'll just go to products in this page and I'll add this product. That's it. Save it. Come to overview. And let's just open this page in our editor. So all I'm going to have is literally the two-step order form. You can create your own version of the page and have your own two-step order form, but this is just a test. I'm just showing you as an example. So I'm not gonna have anything else. Maybe a headline, maybe a description, and then that's my my two-step order form, right? So I'm gonna save it. Whenever people, uh, you know, go ahead and pass through the first step of this form, basically enter all this information and go to step two, where they have to uh, enter their card details. They don't go through that phase. They just went through phase one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an abandoned card automation for them. So let's go to automation and let's just create a new automation called abandoned card automation. So the trigger is very important here. So you need to understand what the trigger is. I'm going to go for order form submission and now let's search for the funnel abandoned cart test page is obviously the landing page the product is you can specify the product but you you don't have to so i'll just i'll just do that and then submission type this is very important so this should be opt-in okay cool so that's my trigger they passed through the first step now when do i start this follow-up this is very important because if I started right away when they just passed through the opt-in phase, uh, I mean the step one really. So when they do it and then I start sending follow-ups, that's that doesn't make any sense because they may be going through the second step at that time. So I want to wait until I know for sure that they actually went through phase one, but not phase two. So I'll just wait for 30 minutes or maybe an hour, you know, or 20 minutes, uh, depending on whichever makes sense for you. And then... I'll just do send email. So you can just, uh, you know, hey, saw that. So you didn't end up buying. I mean, I'm just being so rude here, but you can have your own stuff in it. So hi. Um, is there anything we could help you with? Um, I noticed you showed interest in our product but didn't end up buying it how can we help right and then put a wait trigger maybe you just wait for a day and then send another email so i'll just copy this so this is just basically following up right so I'll just copy, you know, just, just make it bigger. Maybe have just four or five email follow-ups. So that's, that's the abandoned cart automation. Now, one more thing you have to consider here is this guy went through this opt-in phase, right? 
and after 30 minutes this follow-up starts working maybe that guy went through the the whole whole thing he actually purchased the product but still this is going to execute right so what you need to do is you need to have another workflow saying purchase automation right automation so this will be again order form submission add the filter in funnel website in page right and this time the submission type will be sale so this workflow executes whenever the sale is made which means this guy went through phase one and phase two entered their information and also add, added the card details now as the first thing what i want to do is i want to remove anyone uh, who has purchased from the abandoned cart workflow so i'll just do another workflow and i'll type for abandoned cart automation so what's happening here this guy went through the whole thing purchased actually purchased by filling out the two-step order form going through both the steps i want to, to remove this guy from abandoned cart automation this guy doesn't need to go through the automation phase anymore right and then i just send them an email saying that uh, thanks for your purchase right i'll just put it in the body so that's going to be the email going out to uh as a as a sale confirmation right again just to recap we are uh doing an abandoned cart automation for those who went through the opt-in page those who went through the opt-in page we wait for 30 minutes and then we start emailing them following up with them that uh assuming they didn't go through the phase for those who actually went through uh the whole two-step order form we remove them from this workflow from this abandoned cart or workflow through this workflow called purchased automation right so they don't go through that follow-ups they don't have to so that's it's that simple and hope you understood it make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel obviously if you liked my, my content and i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.